In this video, I'm going to show you how you can zoom in and out on CapCut. So this zoom in and out effect can be done in a couple of minutes. So let me show you what you need to do. So here I'm on the PC version of CapCut and I've got my video onto the timeline. Now this select tool, you want to move this to where you want the zoom in effect to start. So I'll just start it here. Now, once you've got the position selected here, so this isn't going anywhere, right? This is the position I've selected. We now need to go to the top right hand corner and from here, we need to go ahead and go to video. Make sure you've got your video track selected, by the way. So go to video. Then you need to go ahead and go to basic. And here you should see transform. Now here in transform, you want to go ahead and add a keyframe. So here in the top right, you've got add keyframe. And if you click on it here, it's going to add a diamond keyframe to the timeline. So as you can see, we've got a diamond down here and we've got a keyframe selected. We know we have because it's gone bright blue. So now this is the starting point. We can now go ahead and zoom in. So now move this cursor further down the timeline. And what you can do now is you can make any changes. So now let's click on the actual video or we can go ahead and click on scale and we can go ahead and increase it with this slider. You can also do this with the X and Y axis as well. You can make any other changes. So what we've done here is now we've increased the scale and we've zoomed in. I'll just zoom in all the way for dramatic effect. You can see the keyframe has updated down here. So now we've got two keyframes. So now if we went and played this video, this is what would happen. It zooms in and that's it. Now it stays zoomed in because we haven't told it to do anything else, right? We've just got a start position and a zoomed in position. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and stay zoomed in for a while and then zoom out, you need to then decide when you want your zoom out to take place. So let's say we want to zoom out here. So you would put the position on your timeline. You would then go ahead and click on the keyframe again, and then you will go ahead and decide how long you want the zoom out to be. So we will just move the cursor up a little bit on the timeline. And then we can go ahead and bring this scale back down. And there you can see it's created another keyframe. So now if we go ahead and just preview this and play it, you should be able to see the keyframes in action. So let's play it. You can see it zooms in for the first keyframe, then it stays zoomed in, and then it zooms back out again. So that's pretty much how you can do it. And I hope that was easy to understand.